and welcome to Life in Envelopes. I am Jennifer Bleacher. In today's video, this is purely a cash envelope stuffing video because what we're going to do is I'm going to take my sinking funds, which are getting pretty wide here, <laughs> pretty stuffed, and we are going to condense these uh, envelopes down by taking these smaller denominations and um, exchanging them for larger denominations. So I'm using this little seven by nine cash envelope. This is actually a sticker that I saw in my Etsy shop. I'll show you that you can use in seven by nine planners, but um, I'm just gonna use it as like a little worksheet for myself today to keep track of what I need to get from the bank. So to start with Amazon, I'm going to start by counting how much I have in my envelope and then we'll see how much of that um, we need to exchange. So 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So I'm gonna leave $1 in the envelope and then we're going to deposit this into the bank and get a $20 bill uh, in exchange for these bills. So just set that off to the side. So we need, we need $20 and the largest denomination I can get would be a $20 bill. Okay, moving on to back to school. So we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. So we can leave two in the envelope and then um, get $40. So the largest denomination I could do there would be two 20s. I want the largest denomination because I want these envelopes to be as thin as possible. Because <laughs> we're gonna continue to add money every week and, um, and they're gonna continue to grow and get bigger. Okay, next up is birthdays. So let's see how much we have. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. So for because we have 70, I could do a 50 and a 20, but I really hate 50s. They just make counting so hard for me. So I think instead I'm just gonna get $60. So that would be three 20s. And I'm gonna leave one of the 10s behind to make that 60 plus 10, which would be 70. Okay, next is car maintenance. So we have 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1. 10, 20, 30, 130. So I'm going to leave $30, so a 20 and a 10. I'm gonna leave that in the envelope and then we're gonna put get $100 from the bank. We'll get a $100 bill. Okay, next up is car registration. And we have 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85. So I know that five will stay, so then we need 80, and I'm not gonna get 50, so we will keep the two 20s that we already have, so then that should be 40. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So we're gonna get $40 for car registration, which will be two $20 bills. Okay, next up is Christmas, and we have 20, 40, 60, 80, one, 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, and 200. Nice, so we're just gonna get two $200 bills for Christmas. It's so exciting to already have $200 saved for next Christmas, and we are only uh, in February at this point, very beginning of February. Okay, next up is our annual Sam's Club membership. So we have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. So we're gonna leave one in there and then we will get a $20 bill. Okay, next is our vacation fund and we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, 2, 20, 30, 40, 50. So 250. So that would be, we're going to leave $50 in here and then we will get $200 uh, in cash. Okay, and then finally we have VET. So that is 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 1, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So let's leave 50 in here. 
Oh, I'm gonna get a nicer 20. <laughs> there we go. So we're leaving 50 and we just need a one $100 bill for this envelope. Okay, so the way I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna deposit this cash into the bank and then I'm gonna withdraw the actual amount that I need and the denominations that I want. So I'm going to quickly add all this up and take this to the bank. Okay, so I am back to the bank and I decided to do something a little bit different. I was thinking, instead of having all of this cash on hand, I think anytime I exchange a large number of bills for a $100 bill, I'm going to move that amount of money over to our savings account. So, um, and then I'm gonna use this uh, play money, which is blank on the back, to uh, mark that, so like as a cash marker. Okay, so for Amazon, we need to add $20 back into that envelope. For back to school, we're going to add $20 to that envelope. For birthdays, we're going to add $60. For car maintenance, we are going to add a $100 place marker. For car registration, we are going to add uh, $40, so two 20s. For Christmas, we are going to add $200. So one, two. For Sam's, I'm going to add $20. Vacation is going to get $200. One, two. And vet is going to get $100. Okay, so I have all of my envelopes condensed. Oh my gosh, that's so much better. <laughs> so much easier to close that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget that if you enjoyed today's video to please give it a thumbs up and I will see you all again next time. Thanks for watching everyone. Bye.